Right, in this video I want to do a couple of quick examples on solving systems of linear inequalities by, by graphing. Alright, so our first example gives us the system 2x plus y is greater than 2 and x minus 3y is less than 6. Okay, so what I'm going to recommend we do, so we come up here and we're going we're gonna to call this one number 1 and I'm going to have it blue and the second one I'm going to call number 2 and we're going to make it red. Okay, so we're going to graph blue and red over here. All right, so take the first one, number one, and the idea from, from a previous video, remember to graph a linear inequality in two variables, is to first think of it as an equation. So 2x plus y equals 2, and then graph this line. This is just the equation of a line, so just graph this line like normal. So we would have y equals negative 2x plus 2. If we put it in slope-intercept form, and we see that the slope is negative 2 and the y-intercept is positive 2. So we uh, go up to y-axis and plot a point. All right, and then um, slope is negative 2, so down 2, 1, 2, and over 1, and plot a point. Everybody see that? All right, so then uh, we connect the dots. We need to decide, is the line supposed to be dashed or solid? Well, remember, that all depends on the inequality symbol. Since it's a strictly greater than inequality here, then we have a dashed line. It means the points on the line itself are not included. So we just dash our line. All right, and then remember, we need to do a little test point idea, right? So uh, let's take the test point. Uh, zero, zero is clearly not on the line. So if you take zero, zero and plug it into our original inequality up here, we get two times zero plus zero is greater than two. And so we get zero is greater than two, and that's false, right? So we need to shade the other side. Now instead of just shading the entire side like we did before, I'm just going to make a note. Hey, we need to shade in this direction. Right, we're shading in this direction. Okay, what we're going to do now is take the second inequality, graph it on the same axis, and figure out which side we need to shade on. And then the solution to the entire system is where those two shaded areas overlap. Right. So let's take number two. So x minus three y equals six negative 3y equals negative x plus 6, y equals 1 third x minus 2. So the y-intercept is negative 2, so we go down here to negative 2, plot a point, negative 2, and then the slope is 1 third. So if we go up 1 over 3, 1, 2, 3, and up 1 over 3, 1, two, three, right? So up one, one, two, three, plot a point. Up one, one, two, three, plot a point. So those are the points that lie on that line, and now we ask ourselves, all right, is this line solid or dashed? Well, again, since it's strictly less than, uh, it is dashed. So go through. Now we'll take a test point for the second one here. And again, we can use zero, zero, because it's clearly off the line. I'm going to say, all right, plug it into the second inequality. So we have 0 minus 3 times 0 is less than 6. So we have 0, this is a times here, is less than 6. That is true, right? So we want to shade in this direction, right? And then you go back and you say, all right, well, where do the two areas overlap? Well, in this area right up here. So we go through and we shade this. And so that's the shaded area. Um, all the ordered pairs in this shaded area satisfy this entire system. They will make both of these inequalities true. So that's all we're looking for. Right? So that's how we solve the system uh, graphically. If we needed to know the specific point of intersection, you now have tools to uh, able you to figure that out because that's just a point where these two lines intersect. So you could just take the two lines and figure out what point that would be. Um, Alright, so, right, so that's it. Let's try one more. Alright, so just like the last one, we're going to 
call that number one and call this one number two. All right, so taking the first inequality, we have 4x minus 3y. We want to think of it as an equation. 12. And this time I'm going to find the x-intercepts and the y-intercepts. All right, so the x-intercept, and we let y be 0. So if y is 0, you have 4x equals 12, so x equals 3. So that's the ordered pair 3 comma 0. And the y-intercept, this time we let x be 0. So when x is 0, y is 12 divided by negative 3, so that gives you negative 4. All right, so you can go plot 3, 0, 3, 0, and 0, negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Right? And then you decide, all right, is my line solid or dashed? Since it's less than or equal to, since we have the equal to in it this time, we're going to have a solid line. All right? And we say, all right, what about test point? Because we're going to figure out which side to shade. Well, anytime you can take the origin, that's a good test point to take. It's clearly over here on the side of the line. So we have 4 times 0 minus 3 times 0 is, equal, is less than or equal to 12. So we have 0 is less than or equal to 12. That is true. So we want to shade in that direction. All right, are you with me? All right, taking the second one, we have y equals negative x. Well, that's already in slope-intercept form. We've got the slope being negative 1. The y-intercept is the origin, so 0, 0 is on the is a point on the line. Then down 1 to the right 1, you know, down 1 to the right 1, so forth and so on. So connect the dots. Is it solid or dashed? So that's less than or equal to. We make it solid, right? And then we say, all right, we need a test point. So a test point would be, well, we can't use the origin this time, right? Because our line goes through the origin. But we can use the point 1, 0. So 1, 0. And then you plug in 0 for y and 1 for x. So you have negative 1. So the question is, is 0 less than or equal to negative 1? No, that's false, right? So that means we need to shade in this, the opposite direction, so down here. Since 1, 0 was over here, we need to be shading down here. And I say, all right, where do the two areas overlap? And it's in this region right here. So that's the region that we shade. All right, so can I get the idea? All right, so that's about all I want to say about systems of inequalities. Um, study well. Please let me know if you have any questions.